think we lost all But who will take the fall? Who will win it all? You know the cost What is going on everybody? Welcome to the show today. We're gonna be swapping out my short shifter and hopefully solving the biggest issue that I have with my car right now. So I took the car apart the other day, found out that there was a big issue with the short shifter that I had installed previously. The teeth and the splines that are on there uh, have worn away, so there's a lot of slop in the short shifter itself, so it's just making it very, very, uh, it's making it very sloppy uh, when you're going from shifts, and it likes to kind of come back to neutral almost once you let go of it, and it's almost like you can stir a bowl of soup uh, with the shifter. <laughs> what? So, oh uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, I ended up having to get some stuff from ShopTap, and they sent me this uh, OEM short shifter, so this is, I can already tell this is a whole lot better quality than the one that uh, I'm gonna be taking off. Uh, this is uh, cast iron, uh, a lot heavier duty. Um, I'm gonna pull the other one off, show you guys exactly what the issue is and how that one looks and how it's held up. I've had that one on the car for probably about like two years. Uh, it's seen probably a winter or two, I guess. It's, it's not holding up, plus the end links on that one are pretty worn out. This is nice and tight. I'll show you guys the ones on the other one. Uh, it's not good, but we're gonna put this in and we're gonna compare how it is now to how this is gonna be. Uh, hopefully this is gonna tighten this up and fix this huge issue that I'm having. So I've got a magnet around. I've been in, I've been informed that this is possibly not cast iron. It might be cast aluminum. I think it's, everyone said it was cast iron. Yeah, it's real heavy, it probably is. Oh, now you're freaking telling me this. So while our detectives are uh, trying to figure that out, I'm gonna show you guys the slop that's in the shifter right now. Cast iron. That's gonna come up with a big check. Ding! <laughs> Confirmed, cast iron. All right, so here is the issue. Let's put her in first gear. Watch this. Like why? Why is this happening? Second gear. It's not so bad like in fifth. Not too bad, but still, like look at this. You see that? That is sloppy. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't. I, I don't like bowling for soup. I mean, I like their music, but geez, oh man, this is just, this is out of control. I bet the car shifts so much better too with like all this weight now. Oh. Like throwing it in gear yeah, instead yeah. of like that. Oh, the other one is so light and chintzy and half of it's rotted away. <laughs> so I'm gonna get torn apart for how dirty this is. It's like your whistle got a little dirty too. Can you see it that, Is that some sort of nut? Some sort of half eight nut. Where? <laughs> I thought you meant a half eight millimeter like nut. <laughs> uh, like, like a squirrel was in here. Like, he, ate a, he ate a nut somehow. I thought you meant <laughs> half eight mil. I've never heard of a half eight millimeter freaking nut. <laughs> you know. Oh my. Oh, nice. Freaking light. So here is the old one. Uh, the issue was these splines. Let me see if I can get this focused. These splines kind of uh, eat got eaten away at themselves and there was a lot of slop. Um, and you can see this is corroded a lot, uh, unfortunately. And this end link is kind of worn out. Uh, not very good. So, got the OEM uh, Audi one. This thing weighs a lot more, uh, feels a lot better. Hopefully this is a lot better quality. Uh, it's got a brand new end link on it, so that should be good. Um, these splines look very uh, nimble, I guess. I don't know. Nimble? 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 I've never heard splines <laughs> Spline, described as these nimble. These splines are nimble, man. It's yeah, got this- quick, quick on their splines. It's got like, you, like even like look at the, like the difference in that versus that. So let's install this new one real quick, reverse process, and then we'll see what it looks like inside the car. What are you gonna do with that? Oh man, that thing is so sweet in there. New freaking end links. Oh, no slop at all. It's not nice. too sloppy. It's nice. All right, we're gonna align the shifter first. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and align this and then we're gonna see if it's any better. With the new um, short shifter, I'm gonna show you guys how much less slop is in it. The throws are definitely not as short as the other one, uh, but honestly, this is this is probably more manageable and more dailyable. The other one was just a little bit ridiculous and like, even for me, it was kind of hard getting into gear sometimes, especially like if I, if I take the car to go get like new tires put on at Flynn's or something. Someone's driving it. Like the chances of them screwing it up is really, really hard. But let me show you guys. So this, let me pull it back in a second. Barely. 
barely, barely, barely any slop. There's still a little bit like up here. There's a little bit more. There's a little bit more. But not what it was. There's more there. But it seems like the middle gears have there's no slop there. And a little bit. The middle gears have the most slop because I think the internals in here uh, need to be updated and upgraded. Um, but all right guys, so that fixed the issue uh, with the slop from side to side and all that kind of stuff. I have a super pin that Diesel Geek sent me that I'm gonna be putting in pretty soon. You have to take the whole center console out, but other than that, it's pretty easy. Uh, hopefully that's gonna tighten up even more. Uh, we might have a special appearance by Teddy Westside. We'll see if we can get him to come, but. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what you're thinking, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.